The poem is called uh, The Rain Doesn't Require Words. The rain is quiet as she visits the street. She silently bows toward the trees, wets them with her tears, makes them feel her care. The rain doesn't require words to be understood. Her interactions all come natural to nature. It's unlike us. We need agreed upon expressions for everything we do. We need a destination articulated in goals in order to stay on the long road ahead. We require purpose so not to lose control over the wheel when, we, when the rain crashes against our windshield violently. We disappear in the ideas we chase down life's slippery, curly, unpaved highway. We snoozed our own savage desires. Forgot the ones who have held our heart in their innocent palms. It's unfair to be human. Like the mud, it sticks to the river. There's too much distraction in the online and offline world. Would the peacock ever imagine talking to the ox, I wonder? Would the snake feel regret for biting the monkey? I never understood where to stand in a crowd. My first instinct is to lay still on the wet grass in the corner of a garden. Biting into the apple's white flesh reminds me how I won't get, pa how I won't get back time spent. I'm a graduate and still lost in the schoolyard. It's too late to question anything anymore. When we grow old, you will tell me it was all foregone conclusions anyway. Unwilling to move beyond myself, I lay still in bed today. For nothing the sun comes up, we say. I say the sun also doesn't want to be alone after the dark night has come and gone. Nothing can make me forget what I remember. Even the Adderall is without voodoo power. But he made me stop questioning whether I was alone. I am the secret he wanted to unwrap and honestly I wanted to twirl, making it easier for him. But the wrapping paper around my body is a never ending synonym for a comparison he couldn't bring himself to make. Sincerely, I'm too dehydrated to not drink the bourbon that spills from his lips when he goes to tell me something honest. But he's too drunk and he chokes up in a moment. And I stay behind, still just a synonym, never a complete sentence. You and I were never to be taken literally. We are just the emotion remaining after finishing a Kazu Ishiguro book. We are the ending moment of a day that we never thought we could belong at. We explored out onto the sea unprepared, forget that there is no compass built in on this weak body of ours. Loneliness is the only thing you and I ever truly understood how to navigate, allowing the suffocating waves to swallow us into their little pockets of silence was like paradise to us. I don't need to come up for air. I can breathe underwater by remembering who I used to be. Nothing will be passed down to me from a world that can't see me. The little boat we are on will sink. You and I are too morally burdened to surrender and too weak to fight. You and I are not fighters. We are lovers. Neither are we scientists, even though we subscribe to the idea of science. Nevertheless, we lack the ability to distillate love from the howling wind. So we run. And we run and we hide, hoping the sun won't find us, won't torture us for answers we can't articulate. Nothing has an ending that we crave. It's just a hiding part we are familiar with. We know we will wither away. That's our way. We don't fight and we don't lose. But we also won't gain anything new. You and I are leaves of a tree that has already died in the winter. Somehow we are still alive lying here on the street. But you and I know the secret to the lie we tell each other. You and I realize we turned out to be the criminal. You and I realize we turned out to be the criminals in the play we wrote. 
you and I know crystal clear we will never fight for you and I. Because you and I are not fighters. We would have been the jesters of the court. With weak bodies, we curl up into each other when it gets below bearable. You and I remorse the love we never got and never learned how to give. And you and I will never learn how to grow into a tree. Birds branches that try their best to reach the sky, knock on doors, walk in fearless, walk in fearless. No. You and I will lay here on the street till someone decides to pick us up. That's the only ending conceivable to the story of you and I. The beginning we got was never a fair one, Adam. Thank you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Shima. Great.